Well, soon lawmakers will be back in Tallahassee to focus on the future of Florida gaming. They'll consider a new compact with the Seminole Tribe to expand operations and offer mobile sports betting. But a new poll suggests voters want to weigh in, too. Our Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders has that story for you. Forrest. The special session is set for May 17th, and lawmakers are spending these final days getting prepared, even taking online classes to better understand what's at stake. It's a lot of work for a big deal. The gaming compact brokered by DeSantis and the tribe promises billions in new state revenue and lets current hard rock casinos in South Florida offer craps and roulette. <laughs> The tribe also becoming a hub for mobile sports betting, bringing it to the nation's third largest state. There'll be a free market, so to speak, approach. Senator Travis Hudson says to also expect approval of bills creating a gaming commission. Hoping we can get it done in two to three days. But Floridians seem leery of the changes. A recent McLaughlin and Associates poll of 800 likely voters finding 44 percent think Florida has the right amount of gaming already and 76 percent want the public, not lawmakers, to have a say on the new compact. Florida must put casino gambling expansions on the ballot thanks to Amendment 3, though it does provide an exception for a deal with the Seminole Tribe, and lawmakers think they're on solid ground. Do you see yourself playing any role in the gambling session? No. <laughs> Still, Ag Commissioner Nikki Freed warning the breadth of the compact and associated legislation could break the rules. A very large amendment was passed in 2018 uh, that restricted the expansion of gaming without talking to the people. Um, I will remind them of that. And the group behind Amendment 3, No Casinos, suggests litigation will follow if lawmakers persist, saying in a statement, quote, more gambling in Florida will hurt our economy, our communities, and our taxpayers. Even if the legislature approves, we're still going to have to wait for the changes. Because the gaming compact deals with gambling on tribal land, the U.S. Department of the Interior will have to sign off. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.